शहरों की खिड़कियों से झांकते दूर अपने गांव को एक गांव था जहां लोग थे आज वो गांव है और बस कहानियां कल तुम थे हम थे और सब थे वहां आज वहां खाली घर उदास आंखें और सब शहर Good morning, everybody, and again I'm back to my village. Uh, so welcome back to this beautiful, beautiful day out here. Whenever I come here, there is always, you know, a homely and a rustic feeling, and uh, kind of you know village vibes uh, I actually have here. So today I got up at ten o'clock. I just can't imagine, like you know, when I asked my brother what is the time, and he said that it's nine. Uh, 45 then it was like okay 9:45 i've never actually got an abet uh, 9:45 when i live in a city so yes uh, my <coughs> this is a kind of uh, a small uh, decision that i made to record this video so that uh, the my brother and my sisters my you know friends who are uh, somehow not uh, being able to come here uh, to the village uh, they are out you know in the cities so they can relate a bit you know that uh, whenever they come home uh, what you know what kind of feeling they get so you can also write on the comment section uh, what kind of feeling you get when you come home um, means village so yes so this is a bit of like that and uh, the morning routine is a typical morning routine you know and uh, i was born and brought up here so i have always seen the same routine people get up uh, especially women they get up and then they you know go to the boat in, in the typical you know kumauni language we call it where all the cattle live then they prepare breakfast for the other members of the family <coughs> Uh, that's what my mother did today as well and today i had you know chawal ke uh, mane and then uh, yeah and that was something i had and then uh, later on what they do after having breakfast then the most important thing is to take all the cattle to the jungle so that's what they do so they did it and uh, so i'm right now i'm here and just behind me as you can see here so these called in kumau dutta means the sukhi ghas jo hoti hai it is for the rainy days when the especially in the july and august month so when there is a monsoon season so we don't uh, we may they don't usually go out so they you know get these uh, this is a kind of you know food for uh, the cattle there uh, in the rainy days so it is stored for uh, you know food you can say so this is uh, going on right now and i don't know if i'm able to you know show you the proper you know the village life but yeah this is a kind of initiative this is a kind of an effort that i'm putting out here yeah thank you very much and let's continue it So yes, after a long time, I'm here in the jungle, and as you can see, you know there is in home. Uh, I don't know how to express it. You know the feeling. You know when you come home, then there is homemade food and uh, everything. You know then I usually have food in cities, and the taste is always different in the village. I don't know. It is because it actually made and cooked in the fire. I don't know. It can be a reason. I don't know. But then always there is a kind of feeling, you know, homely feeling, and look at the peace out here. there is no source arawa nothing you know so this is uh, a beauty of you know village and i really enjoy so that's why what i did i just you know had breakfast and then having had breakfast i came here so and right now i'm here in the middle of the jungle uh, nowhere and i can see a bit of you know the i think the people have taken their you know goats and cattles out here i can see the voice of you know their uh, they are actually calling their goats uh, yeah so this is going on let's let's take it let's go Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Now and right now, I'm in a place right behind me. Uh, as you can see, all the houses are empty and abandoned houses. People have migrated from this place. 
Uh, when I was talking to my father about this place uh, called Ikluwa Gada, and that is a part of my uh, village itself, and there is no electricity, uh, there is no road connectivity, and I forget about all the other, you know, the basic amenities like hospital and all other things. So I was talking to him, and he was telling me about, you know, the condition of the village uh, here is, uh, is, you know, what to say, you know, there used to be like 20 and more than people. But now only two, you know, one couple is living. Like, like their age maybe around 60s, and they are living here, and their children have settled, you know, in the cities. So uh, it it brings me a bit of sadness, you know, that how people are migrating from the villages. All the you know, houses are, you know, in this condition. It can collapse any time, any moment. So yeah, the elderly couple who are living here, their uh, you know condition is also not uh, really very good. And uh, yeah, so this is the kind of condition. The, this place is kind of an example, you know, or it's just a small uh, example of the entire Uttarakhand that uh, there are a number of villages, you know, that when I was reading an article, they were showing that more than 1500 villages, they have become coast villages now. So look at the condition. Why is it so? Uh, because of the facilities, the basic amenities and imagine, you know, you are living in the 21st century and people are not having, you know, the basic amenities like uh, electricity, uh, road connectivity, health, let's forget the healthcare facilities. So this is a kind of condition right now I'm here and uh, if you come uh, then I'll show you know, that uh, if you see, you know, the condition of these, you know, chats and all the things, uh, then the, everything is gone. अच्छा इसलिए कोटी लाख से हो किधर शेल चंडीगढ़ घाट में कहाँ लगेंगे लाख किधर शेल में लगने से मतलब यू उन्होंने पार हार पाई नहीं ऊपर गया नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम विजय है और मेरी एज बाईस साल है मैं बचपन से ही गांव में रहता हूं और मैं अभी एसएससी की प्रिपरेशन कर रहा हूं और मैं आपको ये बताना चाहूंगा कि एक गांव में रह के किसी युवा को कितनी ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं और उसको कितनी ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम्स फेस करनी पड़ती है किसी भी कंपटेटिव एग्ज़ाम की तैयारी करने के लिए तो जैसे कि यहाँ पर पहले तो उस टाइम पहले अच्छे से नेट भी नहीं चलता था यहाँ पे जैसे एयरटेल के नेटवर्क आते हैं फोर जी सी आते हैं लेकिन वो रूम पे नहीं चल पाता तो हमें ऐसा करना पड़ता है कहीं बाहर जाके यूट्यूब से वीडियोस डाउनलोड करनी पड़ती है फिर उसको घर में आके देखना पड़ता है तो ये काफ़ी प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं मंदिर और त्योहारों के टाइम पर वहाँ आदि में जाए थे बैठी बैठी बैठ मेला धूप बत्ती जलाने कोई शौक से कोई पूजन के लिए अब वो प्रसाद बहुत कम हो गया यार कम जाना ना कोई जानना है नीला ले सोचो इला ले सोचो उड्डा वो जाना गाँव वाले तो आज ले उड्डा कबर नहीं गया जो धूप बत्ती जरूर नहीं जाना है और बाकी आदमी अब देखा अलोप जैसा है क्या कोई जानने नहीं लाये हिल चुके हैं पड़े मकान में और एक लोबाग गाड़ा में शिशी मार्गो हुआ उसमें मैं मैं अभी था पांच दिन अच्छा मतलब काम करने के लिए थे आप अच्छा कैसा लाफी वहाँ काम पांच दिन बन गया कितना बड़ा बढ़िया काम था एक पानी पानी की भी समस्या है कभी कभी पानी नह मई जून जून के महीने में तो हम एक दो किलोमीटर चल के हमको पानी भी मिलता है वहाँ एक गधेरा है वहाँ पानी मिलता है तो जब भी गांव की बात होती है तो मुझे अपने बचपन के दिन बहुत याद आते हैं और अगर मैं अपने बचपन के दिन के बारे में आपसे बातें करना स्टार्ट कर दूं तो ये बहुत लंबी बात हो जाएगी तो मैं कुछ किस्से सुनाना चाहूँगा तो जैसे कि जब हम बहुत छोटे हुआ करते थे तो मैं ग्वाला जाया करता था अक्सर अपने दादाजी के साथ छुट्टियों में मैं ग्वाला जाया करता था तो उस तरफ जंगल है छिनबे के जंगल बोलते हैं जहाँ 
वहाँ जब बरसात के समय हम ग्वाला जाया करते थे तो मेरे दादाजी अक्सर मशरूम वहाँ ढूँढा करते थे और अगर मैं अपनी बात करूँ तो मैं एक छोटा सा कांटा लेके अपनी जेब में लेके वहाँ जाता था और और प्रयास करता था कि मैं वहाँ से मछलियाँ मार सकूँ ऐसी एक एक तरह का शौक था मेरे पे और मेरे दादाजी भी कभी कभी मुझे डांट दिया करते थे और अगर मैं अपने दादाजी की बात बताऊँ तो बूबू पहाड़ी में बूबू कहा करते हैं तो जो मेरे बूबू थे वो बहुत ही आ, अच्छे स्वभाव के एक बहुत ही अच्छा ह्यूमर था उनका अगर मैं उनकी बात करूं तो उनका कविता में उनका बहुत ज़्यादा रुचि रखते थे वो जैसे कि अभी हम अगर देखें तो बचपन में जब भी हम खेलने जाया करते थे क्रिकेट खेला करते थे कबड्डी खेला करते थे अक्सर हम क्रिकेट ही खेला करते थे तो बहुत सारे दोस्त वहाँ इकट्ठा हो जाया करते थे कम से कम हम पंद्रह बीस लोग स्कूल में जा क्रिकेट खेलते थे लेकिन आज अगर हम देखें तो आज के बच्चों का इंटरेस्ट पता नहीं क्यों पर इस चीज़ से थोड़ा कम होता जा रहा है और जिस कारण आजकल हम देख सकते हैं कि गांव घरों में उस प्रकार की आ, उस प्रकार का उत्साह नहीं देखा जा सकता आजकल के बच्चों में जो हमारे बचपन में हुआ करता था ये एक बहुत बड़ा परिवर्तन मैंने देखा है फिर अपन अपन गाड़ी में गया फिर मैं गाँव को आज चेल बेटी सो फ्रेंड्स ऑल इन ऑल इट वॉज अ ग्रेट डे इन माई विलेज आफ्टर टू मंथ्स एंड समथिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट इज विलेज इज इवन यू नो गेटिंग बेटर एंड बिकमिंग मोर ब्यूटिफुल डे बाई डे फॉर मी बिकॉज यू नो आई कम हेयर वंस इन अ मंथ और समटाइम वंस इन टू मंथ्स दिस टाइम आई एम हेयर आफ्टर टू मंथ्स सो फॉर मी टू कम हेयर इट मीन्स टू फाइंड दैट यू नो that uh, slowness of life uh, to find that uh, serenity in life and uh, finding and in pursuing that tranquility so at uh, the entire day i was exploring the village uh, here and there and uh, i met you know different old people and i was talking to them uh, talking about different things talking about the festival talking about the how people used to live you know uh, 20 years ago so yeah that was all in all a good experience to be here so one thing that i uh, that i never forget is to meet uh, people uh, especially old generation so um, one uh, message that i would like to give all of my friends who are actually uh, not in the village but uh, somewhere in the cities whether delhi mumbai or different cities and somehow not being able to connect to the village right now uh yeah so whenever you come guys uh, whenever you come uh, to your village uh, please be there and you know talk to the old people uh, can be amma bubu and whoever and you know just uh, feel that slowness of life uh, this is what i am actually seeing right now so it is nothing new for me and i i know that uh, you people already know these all kind of thing uh, how village works but uh, just a small reminder that uh, you know be there and uh, try to find out you know uh, how you used to live there what kind of environment at that point was and you know what kind of environment right now so these all kind of stuff you can do uh, out there and yeah it's not that i just want to make you feel nostalgic but uh, it is just a small piece of you know a kind of you know suggestion for you all of you guys to to be connected to your village and whenever you come there i uh, connect to everyone uh, thank you very much and that's all uh for uh, today and uh, thank you very much for being here and uh, yeah thank you very much